In this video, we're going to use Ghidra's patch instruction and clear flow and repair function to combat anti disassembly techniques. This time, I'm using a sample from the excellent book Practical Malware Analysis, and it's the first binary of the 15th lab. The main function of this binary looks as follows it prints either good, good job, job or son, I'm disappointed, depending on the input you give it. And you can see here, it expects two arguments, and then it also expects that the arguments you give it have specific characters at a specific location. However, you see here is a weird call to a function and uh, some variable is set. And now, if you try to analyze this function, because obviously you need it to get to this point here, you double click it and you see address not found in program memory. So how, how can this be? And if you don't look at the decompilation output, but look at the list view, you see here that there's an error, bad instruction. And this is because what you have here in the flow is first a so-called opaque predicate. That means a jump, which is always true because you XOR AEX here. So this jump will always be taken. And then next what you have is what's called a jump into the middle of an instruction. As you can see here, this jumps to this address plus one. Now, if we look at this, this address is exactly here. However, due to the plus one, we actually jump into this here. And the whole trick is as follows. This call instruction isn't really a call instruction because this jump here is always taken. So there is never a fall through to this call. However, both the disassembler here cannot know that and the decompiler can also not know that. Hence, we have this weird function call in here as well. Now, there are multiple ways to deal with this in Jira. The first is you right click this instruction and then you use the clear flow and repair function. Hit OK. And what this does is it clears up the flow, at least in the list for you. However, if we go to the decompiler, nothing really has changed. So what you need to do in order to fix that is you need to patch the instruction. You can do this here. And you can then use a nop instruction, no operation. And then we already see a change in the decompilation output. Now we see that the expected input to this function is two arguments. And the second argument starts with a P, then the second letter is a D and the third letter is a Q. So if you start this program with a PDQ, you get here. Good job. Really good job. 